I think selecting from a set is one of the tougher topics on ACT math. Um, it's not incredibly common and it's fairly tricky. So concentrated practice on this helps. Check out the problem set. Before you turn off the video, because you're about to say, I don't need this point, I'll move on to something else, I do encourage you to take a look at it. It's not that bad when you convert it into plain speed. Before you turn off this video and you say, I'll just put it in my graphing calculator, don't. Because when these problems show up, they leave the answer choice in terms of these. So while you can sort of back solve, right, you can plug in, uh, to the right probability function and get an answer and then kind of go back, go through the answer choices and see which one comes out with that answer. That's very time consuming. Now it's, it's still doable. So if you feel really comfortable with it, by all means, turn me off. But I'll encourage you to take a look at it because it's not as easy to do that as you think. So this is the way that these equations are usually represented. I don't particularly like that because I think it's hard to remember. So I think of it this way. Number of things is always in the numerator. True with distinct probability, or excuse me, distinct permutations is true here. With combinations, you have divided by chosen times leftover. Chosen times leftover. So leftover is the number of things minus what you've chosen. Permutations, number divided by leftover. Let's say I have three things, A, B, and C. I have three and I choose two. Okay? So I don't care about the order of them. I just care that they exist. So let's just kind of work it out. Well, I could pick A, B, right? Or I could pick B, C, or I could pick A, C. Now again, for this part of it, I don't care about the order. A, B, B, C, A, C, that's the only ways I can do it. Three ways. Um, if we plug this in to our NCR formula up here, we'll get three factorial, which is six, over two factorial, over three minus two, whoopsie, Whoopsie again. My fingers are going to have smudges on. Two factorial, and this will be one factorial. Or we'd have three times two times one over two times one times one, and everything will cancel down. You can put it in your calculator if you want to three. In PR, on the other hand, well, we could have AB, then we could have BA. We could have BC, then we could have CB. We could have AC, then we could have CA. So for this example, there's twice as many, there's six. So how do we do this one? Well, it'll be three factorial, and over, we have three, we're choosing two. So it'd be three factorial over one factorial, or three factorial, three times two times one, 3 times 2 is 6 times 1 is 6. So what you notice there, and the reason I wanted to work that out, is that there's more possibilities when you have permutations and combinations. And that's really always the case across the board, not just here. Why? Because, well, when order matters, then you just add a whole bunch of possibilities in. So let's take a look at the one in the bottom of the screen. There are eight runners in the final track heat of a state championship. First three runners, or first three finishers, win gold, silver, and bronze. How many ways can the winners finish? How many ways can the winners finish? So, basically, you have eight. You're selecting three, and order matters. Now, in this example, you could use your calculator. Why? Because... I just wrote it in terms of numeric answers. But, again, on the ACT, I've only seen them in terms of this. Okay? So, let's do it out. So, if you're doing it in your calculator, it would look like this. You'd have 8P3. Okay? Probability menu. Math probability. So, 
on here, you'd have 8 over uh, 8 minus 3 factorial. Or you'd have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. 8 times 7 times 6 be your answer. So that's really all you need to do. Um, these are harder problems. You will find that they are not uh, very accessible because you don't see a ton of them. That's one of the reasons why you have concentrated practice in the book. Distinct permutation, plain combination questions, much more common. These topics are related to probability, so you may want to go ahead and look at that, although they don't really tie in too much on the ACT.